Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Today, we are finally going to be finishing up the time trials. We've done every single Crash Team Racing track in half of the Nitro Kart tracks. So we're gonna be doing everything from Thunderstruck all the way down the Hyper Spaceway. I'm just sort of seeing how it goes. I don't think we need to do these three to unlock Entropy, so I'm just not gonna worry about them for right now. So yeah, let's get started with Thunderstruck. Hope for the best. Oh man, it's been taking me so long to get through these. I know this is the fourth time trial episode. But we'll try it out today. We'll see how things go and hope for the best like I said um I think that we'll do tiny again and we'll just go with this setup for now um I'm fine with it ready let's go all right so this track can be a bit of a challenge but I think we can hold on just for long enough to unlock entropy and then race it again as per usual um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to be done with the time trials because it's taking us so long and there's so many other things I need to check out because we still need to showcase all of the Nitro Kart characters and the Nitro Squad. And now for the new Grand Prix going on as of last episode, I need to showcase the new baby characters, which will be fun. Don't get me wrong. It is a lot of work to get to. Ooh, and this, it's impossible to not get squished by this stuff. Ow, multiple times even. Yikes. I definitely think this is gonna be a uh, a track where I use a high turning character instead of a low turning one, starting with the entropy race. Uh, okay, come on, I need to at least go some semblance of speediness so that we can, oh I need to, yeah there we go. So that we can actually unlock entropy, that's gonna be the thing. So yeah, I've been really looking forward to just unlocking him and showcasing him in that way. <laughs> hey, come on, what is wrong with me? Come on, we can do this. Okay, I didn't hit the wall there. And we get a blue boost here. The chances aren't high of me being able to keep it for very long, but I will do what I can. So far, so good. Ow, I don't know why he went to the left there. That's not really what I wanted him to do, but it's what he did, that's for sure. There we go, we got it, we got it, that's good. Now it's basically impossible to keep this blue boost with a character like this, but I was able to keep it, you know, not really dunking the wall too much, whoa. Oh, hoo hoo, I had to not drift there, but it still worked out pretty well. Okay, we're almost on the second lap. Definitely a better time so far than the first. We gotta keep it going, that could fall apart if I don't make the right choices. Oh, but I hit the thing, oh come on. That was lame. So I'm not gonna have a blue boost going into this final lap, but I was a whole like almost, it was eight seconds better on that second lap than I was the first. Which makes a lot of sense because I got squished twice and fell off the map once. I only got squished once in the second lap. And I'm gonna get squished again. Man, I like this track, but sometimes I don't like this track. You know what I mean? I think it'll be easier with a different character type though, for sure. It's definitely, I would argue this is one of the most challenging tracks in the game. It's a lot of fun, super duper cool one for sure. Come on now. Last corner coming in. And against the wall, not only even just against the wall, totally donking it. Don't squish me, thank you. And going for the win, there we go. And trophy open, that's all I needed to see. Let's go ahead and get this set up again, but with, uh, with a different character. Okay, so let's try again, we're a Thunderstruck. I'm playing as Pura, so we got high turning. That should be good. You might hear my cat in the background playing with some toys, which is pretty fitting, because we're playing as Pura. Okay, so I might have a bit of a slow start because you know they have a bit more explosive speed than we do. But that's fine. I think it'll be okay. Oh boy. Cause like for right now, they're, they're sort of pulling little leads against us, but I feel like we'll be able to pull back in a big way once we get to places like these. See like I get super squished. I don't know if my time was better than his to begin with. I don't think it was. Oh gosh, that hurt. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Oh, I wasn't able to keep that blue boost, but that is a blue boost. Good to keep in mind. I actually did not realize that. So he's ahead of me for right now, but not by much. We could really make a big difference here, I think. Oh boy. If I could just get to the end of this. 
Come on now. You can definitely tell he... Uh, Entropy is a low turning character and you can definitely tell in situations like that he had a hard time getting around the corner, but I didn't get the blue boost like the way I wanted, which is unfortunate. There we go, ooh, big jump. Oh, I thought I almost missed the actual track part there. But for right now, we're ahead, we're in the lead. Nice, I actually got that boost pad. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get it. Come on now, go, oh my gosh, you're kidding me. I can't believe myself sometimes. But even then, he's still not too far behind. So I have, whoa, okay, come on game. Did he get squished too? I think he did. Yeah, he had to have, or he would be way ahead of me now. But it looks like my old time even caught up to us. Like, geez, it shows you how good of a second lap I had that one time. Come on now. Oh, what is wrong with me? I don't know. It's just not possible for me to play well, apparently. This is the first track of the day, too. But like I said, it's by far the most difficult. Okay, actually got the blue boost this time. I'm gonna have to restart. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just trying to keep at it, but I am getting a big lead in front of them, and if I keep this blue boost, I should be able to keep that for a pretty long time. Just don't hit any of these, keep it nice and straight. And for this one, I don't really have to worry too much about keeping the blue boost, because if as, I, as long as I can drift into that, I get a good blue boost there. And then this becomes a really tough part that's nearly impossible to not get hit. Um, I got very lucky the first time, I guess, but I don't know. It's just a really, really tight situation. Okay. But we are so, so close to winning this. Like, I don't think, we'd have to really, really mess up at this point. Ah, uh, I didn't get the blue boost there. But we're like an entire straight away from them, so like, we, we should be fine. Come on now. Just have a good, decent timed lap. Even if I don't get a blue boost anywhere, I should be fine. Unless Entropy has a really crazy final lap, which I don't think he does, we should be okay. But I'm glad, you know, I could just keep trying. Learn more and more, more about the track. That's sort of the, you know, the big thing about time trial is the word trial. You need to try these a lot. You're not gonna get it the first or second time most of the time. You just gotta practice, and that was really good. There we go, ooh. Nice, I don't know if I've ever gotten the blue boost this far out on this track. Hard to get it past that corner, but we got an amazing time for sure. And there we go. Yeah, the final lap was 54 seconds. I think that's my best ever. Really good, we beat Entropy on our first track of the day. That one took a lot of time, and we only get six Nitro for it. I did not mean to retry it. We're gonna move to the next track now. Now you guys know I really like this one. This is one of my favorites, it's Tiny Temple, and of course I am playing as Tiny. There we go. Okay, so the idea is just to sort of get out there as much as we can, and then on the end of the first lap, there is a really good blue boost situation, and we're just gonna try to get that and keep the blue boost for as long as physically possible. This has been one of the tracks, why did I do that? Okay, hold on, I might redo this because I really wanna have that good first lap. It's gonna really add up to a lot later. Um, but, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's a really fun track, I'm playing on it as tiny. It's one of those ones I was really looking forward to when it comes to actually trying to get the best time I really can in. Uh, in the time trial episodes, this is one of the tracks I was looking forward to the most. Why didn't I hit the exclamation mark if I wanted to go down this way? I'll have to do it next time. Luckily, I didn't get hit by the fire last time. It, the impact was imminent. That's why I restarted it. There we go. Okay, so I got the shortcut pretty well. It's a bit of a tricky one. And this isn't the blue boost. It's coming up, though. Okay, got it. And that's it. And we had a lot of drifting on that first lap. So yeah, we definitely have enough reserves to, uh, whoa, <laughs> cause look at how much fun that is. Oh my gosh, whoa, we got so much air. Might as well just reach another planet. This is why this is one of my favorite tracks in the game though. 
and we still have it, and then I fall into the pit. But we did really well. I think that Entropy is gonna have a hard time keeping up with that one, that's for sure. And I'm sure that if you could keep with that, you could probably get a lap time like under 35 seconds maybe. That'd be crazy. Definitely possible, I feel. Cause like right now we just got 37. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely possible. Maybe even closer to under 30. If you know what you were doing. Not to say that I do. Just trying my best not to hit any of the walls because if I do, this blue boost goes bye-bye. Okay, so we know for a fact that there is a pit we gotta be careful for right there. Man, oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I just ran out of it. Right at the end though, where we get another one. <laughs> 30.26, we're gonna get another 30 when we race in trophy. That is for sure, that was a ton of fun. Here we are again, can I beat my old time? It was about like 12 seconds better than Entropy's, which I actually thought it was gonna be better than that. It wasn't, but I'm in the lead of both of them for right now. There we go. But I know not to bother hitting this, because I actually liked the way we went and how it worked with the blue boost a lot. And there's no way we're gonna be able to intentionally hit it when we're going blue boosted. But for right now we have the lead. I'm not even gonna do the shortcut here, I just don't know if it's worth the risk. We'll see if my old time even catches up at all. It doesn't really look like it makes too much of a difference for the risk that you're putting into it, to be honest with you. Okay, this is what really matters now. Don't hit any of the walls. Okay, hold on tight, tiny, come on, we can do this. <laughs> okay, come on, don't let it go now. Man, oh man. That's it, that is it. And we're actually able to keep it from one boost to the other. Oh no, but I hit the wall. Man, that would have been so good. We're on the final lap already. My old time might even catch up to me. That was so good, and that was under 30 second lap time. 29.49. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, man, I, I can't even imagine how good our time would be if I could have kept that, because I can already see my old time is catching up. He's creeping up, he's about to get right past me. That shows you how wild and important there it is. See ya. <laughs> that blue boost is. The scary thing is that Entropy also has a blue boost. He's catching up quick, maybe. Actually, maybe not. Maybe he lost it. I don't know. Oh, man. But I got a new best lap time. That's at least good. 29.49, this is such a fun track. There it is, we win. We beat Entropy, 29.49, I can't get over that, it's just like such a good time. I wish, if I could have that three times, that'd be a really, really good time for sure. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. Let's go ahead and change to the next track. All righty, Meteor Gorge. I like this one. I don't know how it'll work with a low turning character, but we're to find out. I mean, there are a lot of fun shortcuts and stuff. We learned that a lot when we did all the Time Relic and CTR tokens. I don't know if I need it though. I feel like it's almost an unnecessary risk for this one. There are some shortcuts that are like that, that the time they give is so infinitesimal, if not even any better, like we saw in a tiny temple there before. I could have gotten that boost jump there. Doesn't matter too much to me. But this shortcut definitely matters to me because there isn't actually any blue boost to maintain on this track, so it's all just about the quickest line. And I just don't think that shortcut up there is. It's a fun one, and it's also like really short and sweet in a, in a lot of good ways. There we go. Okay. Oh gosh, I hit that a little bit. That's okay, we can just do that. Oh, I actually went around that corner a little too tight, which I was not expecting to be an issue. Final lap, here we go. Oh boy. Come on now. I could definitely see myself taking that corner and being able to like fully jump off of it. It feels like there's even more shortcuts here than I'm finding, you know? Or at least that they might be a little bit more techniques than they are shortcuts. 
but definitely there are. But that was still really good. The final lap time was 31, 39, my best. So we can definitely do under 30 here if I could maybe figure out the techniques a little bit better. I don't know if I need to though. That might be more than enough to defeat Entropy here. So let's go ahead and get him set up. Alrighty, Entropy, you're going down. Oh boy. I mean, our original time definitely did a lot better than he did. So I can only imagine maybe something similar will happen this time. He's taking the shortcut. Entropy did. I don't know if it's, yeah, it didn't seem like it really budged him any forward. I don't think it's worth taking. It's a cool shortcut for sure, especially like in an online race where maybe the, the main area is a little too crowded. It might be worth considering. Oh man, whoa. That's good. A little bit ahead of my previous time. Oh gosh, ooh. Okay, Tiny, we can do this, buddy. I hope you know. I believe in you. I definitely think Tiny is a good character type for this track. That's what I wanted to try, and it turned out really, really well. Okay, good to know. It's a little bit tough to pull off later in that turn, because especially since you can't really even see where you're going to an extent, you can't even see where the pipe is, your character sort of blocks it. But you know what, we're doing fine. As long as I don't really mess up on this last lap, we should have a better time. <laughs> okay, whoa, that was weird. The ice sur certainly messed me up there. And if we don't get a better time, it's not the end of the world. We definitely have a brand new, oh gosh, best lap time. Maybe, actually not. Oh, weird. I thought that second lap was for sure gonna be my best lap time, or was it? Have we gone below 30? I know we could, but oh well. That second lap was the best lap, of course, of this one. I don't know if it was my best lap ever. 30.09 is still really, really good though. So I'll take it. It was a better time, but it could have been even better. For sure, there was room for improvement. Perfect start, we get 390. We're almost at another uh, reward in our bronze tier. That's super cool. More than halfway through it now, but yeah, we're gonna move forward. We're going to change the level and see what other things we gotta get done. This is gonna take a while. Alrighty, we're doing the Baron Ruins. I ran him the character and we actually got a Nash here. Through. I think this is his home track, or at least like a track in his domain. He's a uh, high acceleration character, so you know what? It might be worth trying. I might end up going back to Tiny, but I figured I was playing a lot of the same character. I might as well for at least, you know, the first time trial random a character, um, because it doesn't really matter. I just need a decent time, which I can do with any character type, really. So I might start doing that just to make it a bit more interesting. Luckily, we already know the sort of the shortcut setup for this one. We just have to be careful because some of these tiles that are up on the floor like this can be bumped into in an awkward fashion that won't be so helpful. There we go. And the only shortcut we have to worry about is this one right here. It can be a bit of a toughie, definitely for some of the lower speed or acceleration characters. So you do have to be careful of that. And this ice on the floor is definitely a bit of a worry. You just gotta be really careful. And I don't have to worry about hitting this box. It actually would not help me whatsoever because I'm the only one on the course. The only person that can have a chance of hitting is me. Okay, so far though, we're zooming through this. Let's see if we can't get under 40 seconds for lap time. Because we got 40, 37 that last time. And, ooh, definitely under 40 seconds. We got 36. Okay, I can't look too much now. Because there's no blue boost on this track. Come on now. Can we beat our final score, or our second score on our final lap? Ah, no, we're not gonna be able to now. Yikes, see, that's exactly what I'm warning about. It is so tough to dodge a lot of the times, it's just sort of, because you don't know until you've already hit it, where it's gonna be. Oh no, oh, for a second I thought I wasn't gonna make that. I didn't get all too far over it. Yeah, the second lap, 30 second, 36 seconds. Yeah, not too bad, actually. I'm happy with that, but we're gonna go ahead, of course, and take on Entropy and hope for the win. Okay, so, hope we can get the win here. I think that we should be able to at least beat Entropy because our time originally was way better. I sort of messed up my drift there a little bit, but I am trying with Tiny again just so that I can maybe get the different experience with that. I feel like this will be fine for the type of track it is. As long as we don't make any kind of crazy major mistake, it should be quite handleable. And so far we're in the lead. Ah, uh, 
until awkward stuff like that happens. That's it. Whoa! Okay, okay, I made it though, I made it. Entropy's actually not too far behind for this first lap, but I guess he just falls behind more and more as time goes on. So this was my best lap that I'm racing against right now. So far, keeping up with it pretty well. Let's see if I can't beat the down. Okay, I didn't hit that tile that time, that's good. But he is right on top of me, and uh, he, I mean me. Okay, come on. That's it, ooh, good clearing over that that time. So, slightly better lap time than 36.90. I mean, actually not technically. I'm just like slightly farther ahead. I think that the other lap time was better. <laughs> Let's see what I can get this time. Oh boy. I definitely wanna beat my old time if I don't hit any of these tiles. There it is, awesome. But can I get the best possible lap? We're about to find out. Oh, what happened there? I donked it but didn't donk it. I was actually pretty set up to get the best lap time. I actually got two identical lap times. I would've gotten a better one then. That stinks, but definitely not too bad. Better time overall. And yeah, we are so close to 3,000, and then look at that new sticker. Alrighty, next track, here we go. Alrighty, now we're doing Out of Time. I love this track, we're ra we random Tana. Okay. Let's get to it. This track can be a lot of fun. Hopefully I actually do a good job with it, because there are definitely some major, major shortcuts you can do, like this one. Whoa, we cleared it! That was actually a really great setup too, so let's keep it moving. Because there's some cool blue boost you can do with this one, even cooler shortcut coming up. Right about here. Let's see if I can't get it. There it is. Whoa, sweet. So we're doing pretty well. Oh gosh, come on. And we're able to handle these turns pretty well. If I chose a low turn character, maybe this would be a little bit more of a struggle. I wouldn't wanna do high turn character on this, I feel. There we go. Ooh, but I lost my blue boost, that's fine. Oh, come on, the one little rock. You're serious? I don't know if I'm gonna have enough speed to do this then. Oh, just barely. Apparently we were coming at our full speed. I don't know about that. Oh boy, uh, I'm like right against the wall. But the high turn, I just feel like you wouldn't be able to get enough boost off of everything to actually move through some of these shortcuts. Definitely the fence shortcut would just be a bit too difficult. But I'm thinking we will at least try Tiny again and see how that goes. I mean, this isn't bad, don't get me wrong, but I know it can be a whole lot better. That's it, come on. Okay, I was able to make that turn pretty well. I wanted to hit that. <laughs> oh well. I'd rather go the long way around and keep the blue boost. Too bad I didn't keep it. Ah. Oh, whoa, okay, I made it though, I made it. That's all that matters. I can't believe the first time was just like the best. I definitely just got like a good start and everything. Definitely after you land on that, you have to do a little bit of a jump to continue your momentum forward. If you just keep your tires to the floor, you lose speed a whole lot more quickly. Anyways, all we gotta do is get through these turns as well as possible, and then just finish off with a major blue boost. Coming at you full speed. That's it, boom. Better luck next time. I don't know why none of those were marked as their best lap, because like sometimes it won't be my best lap, it'll just be the best lap of the round, and I still get like a best lap little marker, so I guess I've gotten a better lap on this track before. I don't really know when that happened, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up Entropy, and hopefully things will go go go, go well. I can't talk.
So let's try this again. I I, I just decided to choose Amy because she was right next to Tana anyways, so, and it just is a low turn character. Like, we'll just try it. We'll see how it goes. I definitely need to, this time, do that because at the least it's better positioning wise. Whoa. I really messed that up. I just like, I, I tried to drift and like it, it didn't work the first time, so my angling was all wrong. Okay, that was just a warm up, didn't count. For real. <laughs> okay, come on. I definitely think it's better to take that one though. I mean, we'll find out in a moment. That's it, see how good that was? I mean, I definitely was able to do that really, really well as Tana before because I sort of did the mid-air breaking. And now I'm just sort of bumping into the wall for no good reason. So I had like a really wicked first lap, but then it fell apart after that, it's a problem. Definitely was able to go out of that shortcut faster than I originally did. Come on now. I'm only right behind, so we should be good. And then I wanna be able to, yeah, do that same thing. Whoa, you can go through that fine. That's good to know. Ooh, there we go, that was a little bit better, but I also lost all my momentum, so it wasn't really all that much better. But now we're a good chunk ahead of our previous time. So if I can just somehow keep a good pace, I should already be guaranteed a better time because my pace wasn't perfect from this point onward with Tana. And these turns aren't too difficult to handle. I thought they would be more of a challenge. Ow, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, with a low turning character, but they're not as impossibly difficult as I was sort of expecting. I mean, I feel like I've played this track with a low turn, so I don't know why I was expecting it to be so bad. But definitely this part right there is pretty good. And that time I actually got a good drift out of it. And there we go, that's what I did on the first lap with Tana. It's not easy to do, it takes some crazy timing. But it's definitely a really fun thing to do. And look at this, we are a fair chunk ahead of both Tana and Entropy. Didn't get any speed boost off of landing there, unfortunately. Maybe because I jumped too soon right after landing? That sort of seems to be something that happens. Okay, well that wasn't so good, but it doesn't matter too much because we're right at the end. And boom, way ahead, 48.31. That's a good lap time, I'm happy with that. And we got 2.29, so we're a whole almost 10 seconds ahead of our previous time, that's really good. And we got over the 3,000, so yeah, we got the sticker last time. That was pretty cool. So I think there's only like two more tracks to do, so let's get to them. Alrighty, so here we are at the assembly lane. This one should be fun, a randomed Penta. So we'll see how this goes. And I know there's a pretty crazy shortcut we learned about on this one, and that should be fun to check out. Oh boy, big jumps. So far this is really fun to do with Penta, and there's that shortcut. I actually, for a moment, didn't even realize what I was doing. It's a really good one, but of course hard to pull off. There's no reason for me to hit that uh, box. It's just gonna increase my chance of probably running into something. Oh, don't squish me. Oh, you're kidding me, right at the very, very tail of it, like the very end did I get squished there. That was sort of baloney. Am I still squished? I'm bouncing like I'm squished still. But I'm not. Huh, I guess maybe the, it's just broken. Yeah, look at me bounce around. That's not normal. But I'm definitely going normal speed. I think, I sure hope so. You're kidding me. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, but like I really wanna restart because that's just total baloney. Ah, we're still bouncing. That's funny. Come on. Not bad. So the first lap started well, but then sort of fell apart after that. So I know it's coming up. Yeah, it's really not that tough to do. It's still super funny just seeing Penta bounce around like that. I might 
do that. I don't know if that's actually any slower, you know? We'll have to play it a little bit differently next time and sort of see. I mean, I can also just take a look at my lap time. I mean, obviously, if I could do it on a conveyor belt, that would be the fastest thing. The problem is it's hard to maintain. That's it. You sort of have to break Monero. I, I feel like that's another one of those shortcuts. It's very arguable if it's actually worth going for it. I feel like it is ever so slightly. But the risk you have to pull to actually get it in a speedy way is tough. Wow, okay, come on. Not exactly what I wanted. Ah, okay, I made it. The camera has a hard time keeping up with you when you do that. <laughs> come on. Oh gosh. Is the conveyor belt going backwards? For a second I felt like it was. I messed up my drift, darn. So definitely not no world record time or anything like that but not too bad so far. So I'm gonna not try to do the shortcut. Oh man, but I'm playing so bad. Maybe I should try, just get a little bit of extra. See, that's all you gotta do. I was overcomplicating it before. I always think that's the finish line, but no, the finish line is right here. And that last lap was the best, but barely. Oh, uh, did we unlock entropy? Yep, okay, so we're good. We're gonna race them again, see how it goes. And then there's one more track after this, so we're getting really close. Okay, so let's see how things go. I'm gonna try the same setup just to really be able to compare and contrast. Okay, that's it. So far, a better start. And I'm able to go right into another drift, so definitely an excellent first up. We are leaving Entropy in the dust, please don't get hit by that. Thank you so much. That would have been awful. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm alive. Okay, I don't know how I didn't fall off though. That was very, very lucky. I basically just like gave up for a second thinking that I fell and then I was still on. Definitely staying to the left right now is probably gonna be the most beneficial. What happened? Why? Oh man, I hate it when it does that. Like I just barely nudged it. Oh, come on, I'm supposed to win, you know. Ah, oh, I am just about to just call off that shortcut completely. I just don't know if it works out very well. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm just trying to keep things going as well as I can. Right now, I am wickedly far ahead of both times. It looks like Entropy passed my old time. Which I know overall I get a better time than he does, but I guess that first lap, not so much. Probably because I fell off so much. There we go. Okay. So for this one, I don't even really try to drift or anything. I play it super duper safe. And that just sort of seems to be the best idea. Cause they're, they're just getting to the conveyor belt area. Like that's how far ahead we are. And we can keep that lead as long as we just don't mess up the shortcut, so. I don't know what happened there. Like I tried to jump, but it was awkward because the game hates me. Ugh. I don't know, I'm not gonna take it next time. I'm just gonna keep going the normal way. I think at this point it'd just be better, at least for me. But I'm happy that I was able to master this one shortcut. I haven't raced this track online since I was able to do that, but I definitely want to now. I don't think I've ever raced this track online, actually. But I definitely want to now just to do that. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm almost positive I've never raced this track online. It shows you this, just some tracks are popular and others are not. I need to, oh my gosh, not be awful at the game, please. Am I gonna have the, the jumping around glitch again? Nope, not this time, okay. Oh boy. So my previous time is catching up to me, but not by much. So it looks like so far my best lap time is 55.95. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to beat that here or at all. At least not right now. Now without a lot more practice. 
but it's a pretty good time, so I'm happy with it. Actually, I'm not getting a, an exclamation mark next to it, so who knows, but I beat Entropy. One more track left to go, let's get to it. Hyperspace way, here we go. We're playing as Isabel, because that's the character I randomed. I don't know if I've ever played her before, but we're gonna do it now. I don't even know what her stats are, I didn't even check. Okay, so let's see, what are the possibilities of me keeping this blue boost because I drifted on the thing? They are possible, look at that. Oh, I didn't take the shortcut, silly me. I may not need it at this rate, with the way we're moving. Whoa, oh, I'm glad that I did that, but <laughs> definitely take the shortcut next time. Oh man, if I could have kept the blue boost and gotten that shortcut, that could have been big. There we go. <laughs> A vroom vroom. All right. Let's keep going. This is another blue booster. We should be good with getting it. She has some good turning. Like I wouldn't be surprised if she's a high turn character. I'll have to check when we're checking things or we're setting things up. I wouldn't mind racing as her again then. Whoa, major jump. Super speed. That's what I'm talking about. So what we wanna do now is we wanna jump over that way. Yeah, look at that, whoa! And we still barely make that jump. Like, oh man, it's a crazy one. There's just that feeling when you lose momentum in the middle of the air and you just see yourself drop down. It's a scary feeling, it's like a roller coaster. Ow, okay, come on. Can I land with this? I can. Now the goal is just to not get hit, which is mostly for me in total luck. But if, as long as I can get to this part, I can make this major, major jump. And do that again. That's it. Wow. And then this, this time, oh my gosh, we just keep going! Two for one jump, that was insane! Oh man, the speed you get, it's just so crazy in this game, I love it. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this one. I am, nice. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a better time here if I try. I mean, maybe. I mean, if I can improve that first lap. Wow, 220 in total, 40, 44 is my best lap there. Can we get sub 40? That'd be cool. Um, but we'll just have to try again as we go against Entropy. That'll be interesting as well. Okay, so she actually had in the middle stats, the same as Crashing Cortex, was not expecting that. She didn't actually feel like she played that way, but honestly, that works pretty well for this. I think it's a good track for it, which is, I feel like there just aren't many tracks. I really messed that up, by the way. But not too far behind. Yeah, I just like didn't go for the shortcut before, because I forgot how fast it comes up. Oh, I just didn't even realize I've never really got that set up as well as I did there. Unfortunately, wasn't able to keep the blue boost for as long, but that's fine. Okay. Because I definitely have a better lap time than the other two. At least for now. That's good. And then we know what we're doing here. We are zooming. Whoa -hoo -hoo -hoo. And then super jump that thing. Almost hit the ceiling. I actually got a drift there, which is, oh man, but I wasn't able to keep it for some reason. It definitely seems to be a bit like up in the air whether you do or not, but really just getting to that shortcut is the big thing. It's super fun when it can go beyond that, but it's definitely hard to. Maybe I just like wasn't drifting enough on the way there. That's probably what it was. I'm lucky that, oh, I probably shouldn't jinx it, but I'm lucky that I haven't hit any of those so far. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I could feel that I was about to run out of that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this one then. I was able to, no I wasn't, darn. Really, because I got a full drift in before I went away too. What? What are you talking about? Really? That was so lame. So my old time might catch up to me, but Entropy is far gone. Yeah, it's catching up a bit. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I got confused with the other one. It just, it's so quick. 
So I wasn't able to get under 40 seconds. I'm definitely not this lap. It's almost already 40 seconds. Man, that was such a good lap time. And if I could have just kept it past this, who knows how fast I could have grown through this little, little figure eight section. Oh no, what happened there? I don't know, this last lap's not going so well for me, but still, lots of fun for this track, and I still beat Entropy. Yeah, I didn't even get the blue boost here. I don't know what the, what's going on with the game this time. Oh. But at least I can finish that. You've beaten all my track records. Now you've earned the right to choose me as a racer in the character select screen. Oh, that's so cool. And we get the trophy is everyone here because we've gotten all the characters, at least not the Grand like not including the Grand Prix characters, I guess. That is so cool. I'm glad they at least included some kind of entropy voice. There we have it. Every single main course in the game time trial for entropy completed. All it took was like four hours of time trial action but I'm so glad we got it done I'm so happy oh man so we're gonna be showcasing him next episode that'll be super awesome so I'm so happy with that we finally have him unlocked we get a local arcade we can take a look at him right now um, but yeah we unlocked entropy took a lot of hard work to finally get this guy unlocked but now we have every single CTR character and a nitro car character all that we're missing is Megumi from the previous Grand Prix and baby crash baby Coco and baby T. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited for it all. But as you can see, here he is, Entropy. I'm gonna check him out next episode. That's gonna be a ton of fun. He actually has a 10% bonus, which probably means, yeah, he has a new thing. That is super weird looking, the Stone Age Entropy. I'm gonna be checking out more skins soon, I promise. I'm gonna try to do it between every other share character showcase, maybe check out a legendary skin. That'll be cool. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Time so they have watched the end of you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.